I love working with animals. Um, before working here, I was a carer for people, or for a person. Um, so it's always been something that I've always done, the caring side, whether it be animals, people. Um, and I just love it. And through my volunteering, uh, a position came available. Um, I'd gone through uh, a personal tragedy and sort of found myself sort of at a crossroads with my life and I was offered the opportunity to work here and I think thinking about it now it came just when I needed it and it's it's helped me so the last sort of 18 months it's really helped a lot. I, I love every aspect about it I mean a lot of people see that we just feed clean and walk the dogs. There's more to it than that. We build up relationships with the animals. Um, there are some that come into us so free, frightened and fearful that you spending that time with them and getting them to have more confidence in themselves and feeling a lot better about being in this sort of environment. That's what you know makes me sort of do what I do. I like working here because people are passionate who, who come up here and they want to really look after the animals and they have the animals' best interests in heart. So that's what it's all about, really. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I do like to form bonds with the animals and, um, like I say, um, I have my own um, animals to look after. I have 30 dogs, uh, so I do rely on a, a more. And like I say, I hope I hope they feel that they can rely on me and I'll keep them safe and, and, and well fed and, and looked after until they find new homes but you know I, I think I do have a, quite an affinity with animals that's probably why I get on so well with them I get on well with better with animals than I do with people you know we're only looking after them until they leave us so you know obviously you will get your favourites and you will be committed to them uh, more than anything but you know, once they've gone home to a good loving home and they don't come back, that, that's my, that's my job finish. So, you know, I would like to stay here years. for a long time, you know, sure but as long as they'll have me. Um, but no, I, I don't feel there's real, co you know, there is commitment because you've got to be committed and dedicated to the job. But um, but the end game is to get them home. So, you know, uh, if, if I left, they'll just, there'll be someone else to take over and look after them. So, you know, it's it's sort of, you know, it's sort of a catch-22. You know, you don't want to leave because you love them and they love the job. But uh, you know, you know, if if they leave, then you know that's like I say, that's your job done. And like I say, it's the passion that brings us together. If we if we worked in an office, we'd, we'd probably all hate each other. Um, but like I say, because we've got this common bond with animals, and we all wanted to see what see the animals right and make sure that they're, they're cared for. Every section, like I say, they, they all have a, we all have our own little groups, you know, dogs, cats, and stables and farm. But um, you know, it's all one goal. It's all caring for the animals until they can go to home. So you know, you just got to have that in the forefront of your mind and think this, this is what I'm doing it for. This is why I'm here. Um, because if, if if we're not here, then they haven't got anyone. Then there are times where, you know, you'll see a dog going home and he, they've been here for a year, and they go to the new home and they, they give you that look and you're like, oh god, and then tears fall. So it it is emotionally challenging, but in a good way sometimes, yeah. And you know, do things that you wouldn't normally do in, in say, in an office job or something. So you know, there are sort of boundaries you have to cross but sometimes you know you've got to do that to do the right thing you know it's doing the right thing is not always the easiest thing. My past history is um, nursing I was a nurse a paediatric nurse and um, I came to Wee Cult eight years ago um, I was grieving at the time lost my mum so I came here and it's surprising um, how they help you as much as you're helping them 